What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today we're back on NCAA 14 as we take over the 1 and 2 Riverside Royals and we're going to start this week with recruiting. Now with the most recent coach XP boost I put that into the closer so we don't get the points bonus for this week or next week but we'll get it from two weeks from now until the end of the season. So I think that's going to be really good. We've pretty much locked up the visits from last week and Robert Sanders and Joe Patton. And I'm considering what to do with some of these players like Quincy O'Connor. He's a 68 overall center. I'm putting in a lot of points every week to get him. Like he's a five-star player and he sucks. And it, we're losing the battle anyway. So I'm wasting my time there probably. With David Kendrick, who's the big one I keep going after. We continue to fall behind, but we have scheduled a visit with him in week 14 so that could be a huge week for us we just need to keep him interested somehow and hopefully if he ends up locking us out i'll unlock it on him because i think there's a chance we can get him we do not want this player going to louisiana lafayette let's do some scouting on these new athletes this is a quarterback oh he's ooh, interesting now he's only a 65 overall right he's got 86 speed 81 throw power, 83 throw accuracy. Spin move, 82. Juke move, 82. He's got 84 release and 76 route running. I think he's a quarterback, though. But he looks pretty good. We're going to offer him a scholarship and throw some points at him. That is not a bad QB to have. Plus five on Jonathan Jackson. Another athlete. He looks like a DB. Tackling's a bit low. I think he's a corner. He does have 91 carrying. Very odd. So the race to land Ross Mitchell. Ross is uh, very wide open. An offer him a scholarship. Probably should have scouted him first. Does have 96 speed. 89 route running. The catching is so low at a 58. He's an interesting player. Um, Might be wasting points there. I don't know. That's, he's very odd. So fast. So good at getting open. Can't catch. We got a lot of those guys right now. Well, maybe not the speed part. And I guess we'll put the rest of the points into Corey Warren here. 85 speed, 94 juke. Very appealing to me. Looks like a running back. 61 carrying, though, is very low. Maybe he's a receiver. Might be a receiver. 76 catching. So I just added some new players to the board. Um... These are highly regarded prospects. Some of them, like, recruits. He's only a three-star. Um, I do want to find out about these guys, though. They look okay. The interest in other teams is not, like, particularly high. So, we're just going to try and, and do our best to potentially land some steals here in these four players. And I'm going to try... I'll free up, like, enough points to scout them, at least, to see if we want to uh, keep them on the board. Joe Patton, I think we're good on points. I think we're going to get him. I'm going to leave in those points. Ross Mitchell's still really interesting to me. All right, so let's scout these guys. Today's sponsor is Fetch Rewards. It's an app you can download, and whenever you go shopping, you simply just scan the receipt with your phone, and it works with literally any retail receipt. It isn't just limited to mainstream stores and supermarkets, and the goal is to get free rewards like Visa or Amazon gift cards. It's a free app, so you really have nothing to lose but everything to gain. And look at this. Doesn't matter how long the retail receipt is either. You can take two pictures and the app will stitch them together for you. After that, you'll hit submit and you'll get points back to save money in almost anything you can think of. Check out the reward section. You can get something on Amazon or Best Buy and get basically anything you can think of. If you prefer shopping online, it's actually somehow even easier to scan receipts. Hit the E button and it'll scan your email for eligible receipts and you get coupon points back. So get yourself started and sign up via the link in the description. Use code BANGLE to get 3,000 points for free when you scan your first receipt. Again, that's the first link in the description. And use code BANGLE to get started today. Well, Joel Robinson is a plus nine. And we are well behind on him. He's 39% locked. We're going to offer him a scholarship. <laughs> Reggie Gonzalez is a plus five gem 88 Oh my goodness, 88 speed. He's got, his coverage isn't even too bad, but he's got 81 spectacular catch, 79 catching, 79 catching traffic, 82 route running. What can you guys not see in here? 93 stiff arm, 87 juke. His carrying is a 79. 
Got 83 trucking, 84 elusiveness, 80 break tackle. He's a running back or a receiver, and he's amazing. And we're going to offer him a scholarship. Oh, another big, big get here. Will Baker looks unreal. 78 speed, 82 power moves, 88 finesse moves, 91 block shed, 80 tackling. We got to figure out a way to get that guy. Have to. I'm going to take some points out of Quincy O'Connor. It feels insane to put that many into him. Will Baker will get a scholarship. What about Steve Mathis? He's minus two. Not what you want. He's got 80 play rec. What are you good at? 71 power moves. His power moves is not terrible. He might be an offensive lineman, maybe. I don't know. I'm not particularly impressed. I think I'm going to take him off the board. And then Chris Thomas. He's 6'8". 315. He's a plus two with 80 run block and impact blocking. We'll offer him a scholarship as well. And that's where we'll leave recruiting for right now. And hop into this game against also one and two San Jose State. Debuting this uniform combo. Black jerseys with the yellow gold pants. And I wanted to give a little bit of time in between last episode and this episode. But for time, I am going to have to record this right now. And what am I talking about exactly as I do the Collinsworth slide over? We have a decision to make about removing the red shirt on our freshman quarterback. Andy Byers got injured. And we have Ryan Davis just sitting on the bench. He's not the fastest, but he can throw. He can throw. He has 78 throw power which isn't amazing. I understand that. 76 throw accuracy, which is the highest on the entire team. Now, do we play him and try to win, you know, through the air? Or do we keep in Stephen Williams and just try to ground and pound and, and win games by shortening games? And at least for right now, I'm going to try and win games on the ground. These actually look really good. You guys might disagree. As we got Phillips, open space down the left sideline. Nice return by Tyson Phillips. You guys might disagree, but I think wasting his red shirt when our junior college player quarterback got injured, I don't really see the value in that. Juco transfer, we're going to have him for only a short time anyway. Yes, he's injured this year. I don't remember, and I don't think, that you get extra years of eligibility in NCAA 14 from injury the way you do in real life or the way you can in real life. So I'm not going to waste our QB as Trey Battle stumbles for nine up the middle. Not going to waste our young quarterback and his long-term development because of, you know, the second half of a season where we're not going to be too successful anyway. As Steven Williams gets it to Tyson Phillips for eight, we can just do that. Third and four. That's so open. We got it to Duval, And they're going to give him the first down. He was very, very close to being short. Quick screen to Trey Battle. We got blockers out in front. We got a juke move. We got a broken tackle from Trey Battle. And he'll pick up 20. And after that play, Tyson Phillips, who has been our most reliable receiver despite dropping a lot of passes, is down with injury. Not what you want to see. But it is third and five. Injuries have been ravaging this team so far, but it's another screen, more good blocking, and another Riverside first down. I can't remember if we scheduled any more visits as we're going to roll out with Williams. Take it up the middle, and don't fumble, please. We need to schedule a schedule visits as quickly as possible in order to keep these guys interested and, and have us on their radar. So, got to remember to do that as soon as possible. First miss of the game for Steven Williams would have been a touchdown. Third and five. They're playing contain, really. Williams with a check down to battle, and Trey Battle's thrown forward for a gain of eight. And this has been a very good start to the game for us. It's a lot of short passes, a lot of runs, and a lot of success here early. A little speed option. Take it up the middle. Steven Williams, touchdown! Kept it on the ground. Kept it in the hands of our quarterback. 
You know, he's no Ryan Davis, who sits on the bench right now, wearing that red shirt. But, you know, he's not really wearing a red shirt. <laughs> but, uh, you know, in spirit, maybe. And Phillips, Tyson Phillips, will have a sprained elbow and will miss the next two weeks. Rough. But he's not that good, so he's pretty replaceable for right now. To draw. That's a nice play. We got a tackle, though. And Robinson's going to get a ton of extra yards as a result. He's got blockers in front. How did he find space? Touchdown, San Jose State. Kyrie Robinson breaks off for 70-plus. We had him in the backfield. And we couldn't make a tackle. Guys missing all over the place. And San Jose ties it up just like that. Didn't even snap. That's how bad we are. I, I can't even snap. There we go. I don't even know if it's picking up on the mic. Read option. And we got a little bit of space here. Blockers out in front. Hand picks up a big block and Steven Williams is off. Finally tracked down after 32. Maybe a little bit more speed than 77 and that's a touchdown. But very good gain regardless. Play action. Ham has a step. Williams hits him, and Ham caught it. The true freshman Michael Ham is one deep again. Had his first real big score last week, a 70-yard touchdown, and this one goes for 40-plus and a Riverside score. Great throw. We actually caught it with Michael Ham. These are nice changes, and we might be in a shootout against the Spartans here today at home. Throwing at Sims, and he still has no hands. You can call that three pass deflections in the past five quarters. It's three dropped interceptions is what it really is. It's a screen, and it is a sack. Nick Nash goes down. Pop Jackson. He has like three sacks in the last five quarters. Now we got the hall monitors up the middle. Usering Greg Hall on that occasion completely took away the screen, read it perfectly, and that set up the sack by Pop Jackson. That's thrown over the middle and complete to Braddock. I would say really good first quarter for us overall. We got the football back now. We had a big stop on third down. And we just need to continue to just do what we've been doing, which is find, you know, semi-creative ways to move the football as Stephen Williams misses another one. A little counter play. Good block by the pulling guard, and Battle has a little bit of space. He's got some room to operate, and he'll stiff arm for a huge gain. Look at Trey Battle battling. Love to see it. Seven first downs for Riverside, zero for San Jose State. But you know what's funny? As Steven Williams will be stiff arming, don't fumble, please, is they do have seven points. They scored, you know, a huge, huge, huge play after a broken tackle. They didn't even need a first down. They just went down the field in one play. And a scramble with Williams here. We have some space. Give me a block. First down, Steven. I really don't want to run read option here. But we'll see if maybe I'm wrong. We got space that way. Trey battle for seven. First and ten. Little switch release. We're going to give him a chance. And it's going to be a Javon Johnson 15-yard touchdown. Gave him a chance, and he capitalized. Steven Williams, I know a couple errant throws today already, but he's throwing the ball pretty well. We're throwing on time, mostly on target, and the receivers, for the most part, are catching the football. No drop so far. That is a left foot down, and that is a Riverside touchdown. Throw underneath. Nash is going to take off. Man, Greg Hall. He's played so well as a true freshman. You got to make that tackle there. To run up the middle. Hall just got pancaked. We need a big tackle on the outside from Santos. He's just getting blocked up the field. Santos with the touchdown saving tackle. It was another big broken tackle. And they should just run the ball every play. This running back does not go down. Throw over the middle. Wow, they did. Uh, I really thought we could abandon that because I didn't think he was going to throw right at where I was going to be. 
baited it, but too well. Almost left it too early. First and goal, San Diego State as a result. It's an option play, and it's a touchdown. Nick, Nash, Patty Whack, give your dog a bone. That's not it. Uh, touchdown, Spartans. Gonna try another screen here. He's got to throw it right away, and look at the speed of Michael Ham. First down. Dude, when he catches the ball, he's a beast. Read option, back to battle. It's got to be a face mask. No, he's going to still try and go. Trey Battle's not going down. <laughs> Definitely tackled a few times there. Face mask. Yeah, give me that plus 15. They're pressing Ham at the line. No help over the top. Didn't really trust the throw. We're going to hit the running back, Trey Battle. Steven Williams, I mean, great start. 12 of 14 for 133 and two touchdowns. Very unlike him. He's just not a good thrower. We're going to scramble. Steven Williams, going to take it outside and just get out of bounds. No fumbles here. This is Steven Williams' Heisman moment. Okay? <laughs> I couldn't even get through that because it sounded so ridiculous. Was Trey Battle not supposed to... Uh, release there it's kind of waiting for that we're gonna give ham a chance underthrown and intercepted got too greedy just not his game just not his game good coverage but you know sometimes you think you got to give him a chance you probably shouldn't <laughs> just shouldn't more often than not is neck nick nash I, I i don't know why i'm struggling to say that nick nash Bit of a tongue twister. Only one timeout remaining for San Jose State. Trying to get up points before the half. 35 seconds remain. And Nash going to scramble again. And clock's going to stop momentarily as that ball is spotted. We're just allowing way too many rushing yards. I don't even want to just say to the quarterback. We're just allowing way too many rush yards, period. Sick throw. Quick throw to the flat. Jackson out there. You cannot get stiff-armed, Craig Jackson. These are the tackles you need to make. And the Spartans are probably going to get a field goal up before the end of the first half. They're going to make it 21-17. to So, I mean, a good way for them to drive down and get points before the end of the half. We need to play better defense. And we'll focus on that in the second half. Pretty good half. A lot of good football going on. Looks like a Big 12 game with... This lack of defense. But we need to uh, just win that battle. Run right. Hall in pursuit. He ends up finishing for the TFL. Had some help from the corner as well. As that was Ezekiel Sims who got hands on him first. Another run. Good tackle from behind. That's Joel Pitts. Two-way player now. Playing left tackle and also, of course, right end. He doesn't make any plays on defense really anyways, so he might as well play offensive line. It's third and nine, though. Somebody make a play. They're going to go deep. Hart got beat again. Happened last week. It's happening this week. That's why getting speed at corner is going to be so important. Get these slow CBs off the field. Good run by Nick Nash. Gee whiz. Right, we got a little bit of a stunt going on. Hopefully that confuses the offensive line. They're going to run it though. And Robinson actually went down at first contact for once. Justin Santos making a big tackle. We're obviously okay with allowing a field goal at this point. But we just got to keep him out of the end zone. Figured this is going to be a run. We got to make a play. I just can't. <laughs> One blocker, one safety, and then the running back. It was going to be a touchdown either way. San Jose State will take the lead for the first time this game. Second and five counter. It's a good block. Trey Battle, nice first. Well, honestly, we've mostly been able to do whatever we want against their defense as a whole. Like, Stephen Williams has had his best passing day of all time, probably today, even with the interception. So we can pretty much just do whatever. But I think running the ball is going to continue to be effective for us. As Stephen Williams... I mean, that's a face mask. That's what that is. That's a big stop on third down. 
We're going to go for it from midfield, though. All right, fourth and four. Somebody make a play. It's going to be Steven Williams. Look at that space to the right side. And he's got a ton of it. I tried to slide. Thank God he fumbled out of bounds. I press square. I guess sometimes when you make a cut and it doesn't allow you to juke or spin or whatever, I guess I made a slight cut when I tried to slide in bounds. And uh, that could have been very, very bad. See, I don't like this defense that they're in. I'm just going to hand the ball off. I, they just had so many guys on the back end. Maybe should have gotten out of that read option altogether. Third and ten. We're taking it up the middle. Steven Williams got stopped. And I don't think we're in field goal range yet. No, we're not. We'll go for it again. Pretty much the same strategy. The easiest way to get these first downs is to scramble. And they're playing, they're playing contain. Steven Williams. Oh my goodness. Ah! We're going to be short. See, what usually happens is the linebacker covering the running back will run with the back when he makes the cut back up the mid, or midfield. So I was just going to run and cut off his back, right? He just read it too well. That's really annoying. That works nine times out of ten. Haul up the middle. It's a pitch right. And that is a huge burst by Kyrie Robinson. It's averaging 23 and a half yards per carry. And Dylan Holman's going to have to come into the game as there is an injury to Steven Williams. Oh, we got to make that tackle. We have to. We have to. Then blocked right out of the way. Uh, you're, I'm, ah, can't even make words. He threw right at me. I'm right underneath. I pressed triangle. Put your hands up. Get the interception. Come on, Greg. It's going to be incomplete. We've allowed over 200 yards rushing. And it's the third quarter. I don't know why they just don't run the ball every play. It's been very, very, very effective. It's third and six, though. I imagine that they're going to look to pass here. Could be wrong. And they're going to, and that's nearly intercepted by Justin Santos. But it'll fall incomplete, and that's how the third quarter ends. Are they in field goal range? Are they going to go for this? Are they going to punt? They will try a field goal. It's going to be from the 36, making this about a 46-yarder. So it, it is makeable, but it is missable. But he made it. All right, touchdown and an extra point would give us the lead. We have the whole fourth quarter to make that happen. Let's go, Steven. Guess his injury wasn't severe enough. Thought I took him out of the game. I forgot about that. Second and four. Battle again. Going to be just short, but we'll probably go back-to-back -back runs on third and two i don't want to make it a read option though we ran read option before on third and two from about this spot remember it was fourth and four after that so we're just gonna go right up the middle continue to eat this clock we want to chew that clock we want to be in position to win the game and that is uh you know done on the ground or in the quick game short pass to trey battle for eight that'll do the job Try a little jet sweep here on second and two. Is this a bad call? Only if it doesn't work, and it worked. Aaron Duvall, first down. Not trying to even get too many yards there. Trying to eat away at this clock. Second and seven. Trey Battle, good run. This is a long drive. We are eating into the entire fourth quarter. Now, I almost wonder if we're going to give them a little bit too much time with the football back. So we're going to even have to try and slow down this pacing a little bit more. Steven Williams just slide first down. And that's going to be under two minutes. Keeper with Williams. I actually tried to hand that off and it didn't work, but I'll take that result. So we're over 350 total yards on the day. Under a minute remaining now. We have played a very conservative, very good fourth quarter. Read option, Steven Williams. We're going to slide down. And now the game clock and the play clock are matching. I guess it's not true anymore. 36 seconds remain in the game. We might try read option again. Let's do it. Read option. Williams, quarterback, keeper. 
we're just gonna slide maybe had the first down maybe or maybe had the touchdown rather we're at that point of the field but didn't want to risk a fumble in that spot and we're gonna call quarterback sneak we're a little bit farther back than i would like 10 seconds remain under that now try to get him to jump quarterback sneak williams is short and we'll call a timeout this would be devastating if we don't get in here third and goal quarterback sneak williams is short they're calling him short he's in unbelievable way to lose i mean we all saw it coming espn classic came down to the one yard line they stopped two qb sneaks in a row i don't know how he's not in on that i don't know how he's not in i mean he looked clearly in where's the football there's the football he, he never got in that's so crazy to me uh what a way to lose yep tried to uh tried to outsmart the game and uh we paid for it tried to leave no time on the clock and what are they gonna do drive down the field and score with 10 seconds to go no they're not just stupid just stupid i know you're gonna say it in the comments i'm already aware just stupid should have won that game or at least should have been in position to win it with an extra point um pretty disgusting way to lose my fault entirely we put together an unbelievable drive and we didn't do enough to finish just unfortunate i mean it's just me it's not even we at that point like yeah we allowed you know a ton of points on the ground um our defense was pretty good through the air my fault should have won the game <laughs> it's kind of funny it's kind of funny but uh yeah um you don't like to lose that way and uh we did my fault take full responsibility at the end there just uh i need to be smarter and say we don't need to to score as the clock hits double zeros right we need to score as soon as we can under like 30 seconds because let's be honest they're not going to drive down the field and score that quickly probably like yeah we could we could take a heartbreaking run to end the game right we could take that that right there unacceptable way to lose and i know you guys know that and uh that's just that's just the way she goes sometimes i'm gonna be stupid but uh that's gonna do it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one take it easy Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.